Hi guys, Siem Privyat and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how to make borscht. And borscht is a beetroot soup which is absolutely amazing. Originally it comes from Ukraine, uh, but there are many very variations of borscht soup in different countries. So whether you're in Poland, Latvia, Lithuania, Russia or Ukraine, you're going to have different recipes for borscht. Um, so this recipe just comes from my grandmother and it's really really delicious i love this soup i make it all the time in fact pretty much once a month for sure and i eat this for several days super easy recipe i hope you enjoy it and the full recipe will be listed on my website at aliceyummyfood.com and guys please subscribe to my channel spread the word leave the comments down below as well what would you like to see next and yeah let's uh try and reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers as soon as we can and I can't do it without you guys so I really really need your help to spread the world and the love of food now let's get started we're going to need tomato paste lemon carrots peppercorn salt bay leaves garlic cloves tomato different fresh greens I've got parsley coriander and dill here fresh beetroot cabbage potatoes and onion first we're gonna chop our onions with garlic I'm using a food processor but you can do it by hand and we're gonna fry this in a pan with some oil just add normal cooking oil whatever you like I'm using just vegetable one and we're gonna soften the onions for about five minutes or so in the meantime I'm gonna add my carrots so I've grated them and peeled them and again I'm using my food process it just makes life so much easier and just grate them in a few minutes and we're going to add this into our pan as well just look at this <laughs> so quick and easy and we're gonna cook them for another five minutes until they're nice and softened then take your cabbage and slice it into a nice little bits like that and I'm cutting it in half because I don't like big chunks but feel free to use bigger chunks if you want then add your cabbage also in a pan and just keep frying for another five minutes here I've got some fresh beetroot with advice using gloves I didn't do that and then my hands were covered in red but I didn't have time and I didn't have any gloves to be honest so if you don't want red hands for days just use the gloves just cut your beetroot in chunks and then grate it again I'm using food processor one more time and I'm using fresh beetroot because it gives much much nicer color Guys, you can find my full recipe on my website at aliceyummyfood.com and plenty of other recipes there as well. So whatever you like, just click on the picture and a full video with directions will pop up. Back to my delicious borscht. This is also a vegetarian version. So if you want to add meat, you would have to cook meat before that. Chop up your potatoes into nice cubes and just set them aside. Now, one of my tricks, I do add a tomato into my borscht. I like the flavor that it adds. You don't have to though. So just chop it up and add into your vegetable mixture and then mix everything together. Next, I'm gonna add some tomato paste. It adds so much flavor and mix it all together. And then I've just added some bay leaves, sugar, salt, and peppercorns. And I'm adding my beetroot as well. Top it all off with vegetable stock and fill it up completely. We're going to slow cook this for about 40 minutes or so until the borscht is nice and ready. Just before serving, I like to chop up my greens. Like I said, I'm using different variety here. And you can use anything that you like, but it does add so much flavor to the soup. And once it's boiling, about 20 minutes before you're gonna serve it, just add your potatoes and your greens and then squeeze a lemon juice. I'm using half a lemon. Mix everything together and just slow cook this for another 25 minutes or so. The soup will be beautiful, colorful, so healthy, amazing for your digestion. I absolutely love borscht. 
you can just serve it with a spoon of sour cream and some freshly chopped dill and just enjoy guys and it's a perfect autumn soup or any occasion really traditionally we mix it in together with sour cream and sometimes add mustard or horseradish make sure you check out all my other videos and enjoy bye